Anyway, analyze the house. Say any house. Our setup for the analysis is house, house lot, significator. Now talking of this particular significator, see, I have told this in many of my videos that house is the emotion. House lord is the person. What about significator? I have found that, you know, see all of these things, right? The mental, psychological things, the relationship type and the contribution of that particular house to your psyche and lifestyle is indicated by the significator. This we will understand. This is the basic rule. And this we will understand today with respect to Venus and the analysis of marriage. Particularly Venus with Malefix. The topic for our uh, video today. Now see, let's understand a particular point. A planet, Malefic planet. Four Malefic planets are there. Sun, Mars, Saturn, Rahu. We'll start with Rahu. When they are with Venus, now, as I have already told that they talk about the experiences that we are going to have, right? So, Malefic with Venus talks about the experiences of relationship, whereas Seventh Lord will talk about what the spouse is bringing in reality, right? As in events and things, you know, that, that you can touch. Significator is more towards the feeling, the experience of living together. It is more towards the learning that you, learning and day-to-day -day help that you get from your life partner. Right? But one thing before we start, you have to understand that if a planet is good, exalted or Guttam, Multrikuru, Sarashi, the malefic result of the planet is greatly reduced. I will not say entirely reduced, but greatly reduced to 90-95%. Now see, it depends. For example, you say Rahu with Venus. Rahu will not become exalted, debilitated, anything as such. Rahu can become Vargottam only. So Rahu becomes Vargottam with Venus. First of all, if it is a negative Rahu with Venus, the life partner will be, right, Venus works as an extension of 7th house and 7th lord, right? So Rahu with Venus will indicate that life partner is clever. Life partner may cheat you. Life partner may already be married or may already have a relationship before coming in relationship with you. You see a broken marriage or a broken engagement of the life partner. These are the results of Rahu conjoining with Venus. Now the life partner can be bossy, life partner can be ruling, physical abuse, physical torture, mental torture, depression. Too much of mental pressure by a life partner spouse is also seen in my experience when Venus is with Rahu. The life partner can be mentally, emotionally cheating as well. And most importantly, when Venus is with Rahu, the prime preference of the life partner is not you but someone else maybe you can say friends profession family or anything but you are not the prime focus right now certainly many more results can be told but the point is that i try to tell only the results which is just related to the planet so for venus and rahu these are the major results that are there. Other results will also be in the combination, but that will depend on the Rashi house setup that I am not discussing right now. So this is something that you should understand first of all. Now say if this Rahu is good, now Rahu indicate that life partner will be clever. Now if this Rahu is Vargottam, only good condition Rahu will get, then life partner is clever and this cleverness of life partner will help you navigate in life and become more successful. Right? Life... You see, Rahu also indicates that life partner may not be 100% dedicated, devoted to you, but can be to someone else. Now, when the same Rahu become positive, it will be someone else in your own life only. So you say life partner gives more important to your family as compared to you, which may seem negative, but actually is positive only. So this way, the result should be changed accordingly. Negative results, I have told you, converting it into positive, you can do yourself. This is how it needs to be done. But the basic point I was trying to say that in this particular case, you say Rahu is with 
Venus and Rahu is becoming Vargottam, still it can produce bad results, but that will happen when this Vargottam Rahu is afflicted. You say this Rahu Venus combination is afflicted by another malefic, expected by another malefic, or conjoined by another malefic who is not in a good condition. In this case, despite the fact that Rahu is Vargottam, because the combination of Venus Rahu is afflicted, malefic results will creep in. Right, so such permutations and combinations are dependent on horoscope to horoscope and this you cannot ignore while predicting the result, while judging the result is the basic point that I am trying to make. That's one thing. Now when Venus is conjoined with, now see Venus conjoined with Rahu, the best remedy is you get a Shri Yantram in your home and worship that Shri Yantram, worship Shri Yantram with 300 names of Goddess Lalita or with Sri Suktam, best remedy for Venus Rahu combination if you are having in your horoscope. Right? Venus Rahu combination will also indicate that life partner can be humiliating you and can be putting you into a situations where you will not feel comfortable, but they will enjoy seeing you in trouble or mess. This is a bad result for Rahu. When this Rahu is good, Vargottam, etc., then it will mean that if you say a Vargottam Rahu is expecting Venus in that particular scenario, life partner is not landing you into mess but on the other hand life partner is guiding you in such a way that your financial social societal condition increases for better right so positive implication of the same combination will come when the afflictor planet is in a good condition that is to be understood if venus goes with saturn First of all, the thing that happens that the relationship can be delayed, marriage can be delayed and person have to spend long time in life where he will want to have a relationship, desperately want to have a relationship, but will not have a relationship. That is one thing. Venus-Saturn combination also gives extramarital affairs and same gender relationship as well. A normal Venus-Saturn combination where Saturn is more powerful than Venus will give an extramarital combination. Saturn Venus combination further afflicted by some other planet will indicate that the person can be in same gender relationship as well, which is to the spouse. It is cheating, right? So extramarital affair once again should go into cheating category. Venus Saturn combination I have seen in, in the case it is a negative combination. It does indicate that person can have some bad experience in relationships from the past. And because of that bad experience, the person will struggle connecting with their life partner, understanding their life partner. In few cases, person wants to find their ex in their life partner, put pressure on their life partner to be like their ex, which absolutely the life partner cannot do, which in turn damages their marital life. venus saturn combination also indicate that life partner can be diseased sickly. One thing, life partner can be elder in age. It is not a negative result. It is a positive result. For these people, a positive Venus Saturn combination will cause a spouse being elder in age that will be good. A weak Saturn with Venus will cause that the spouse is younger, and in that case, the spouse will be sickly. One thing. Another thing is that spouse will not be interested in household affairs or spouse will not be interested in marriage much. So sexual life can be dissatisfactory, and spouse will not want to play his role towards family and towards you. And even if they play their role, they will not do it wholeheartedly, which will make you feel like the spouse is doing things with, you know, under force, under pressure, they will not give their 100%, which will force you to do all the things on your own, right? The native can be overburdened with responsibility because the spouse is not contributing with them, right? These are the results that that is seen. And, and on the other hand, because in, in Saturn uh, Venus combination, the Events happening in a marital life can be depressing. The life partner will say such things to the native which will break his confidence, will break his self-respect. The spouse can be humiliating as well. And the tension in a marital life in Venus, Saturn combination generally impacts the social and professional relationship of the native as well. This needs to be understood. In Venus-Mars combination, if the combination is positive, then Mars is commander in chief. The spouse will give you advice. And if you listen to the advice of the spouse, your financial social condition will improve. On the other hand, 
Mars is the significator for physical beating, physical fights as well, and a negative mark afflicting Venus will indicate that there will be physical fights, abuse, torture between the couple. Right, Venus Mars combination also makes an extramarital affair combination. If the Mars is positive, extramarital will not be there because Mars basically indicate passion. A good Mars with Venus does indicate that there is a very good healthy sexuality sometimes over between the couple, but it is with each other only. An afflicted Mars, a negative Mars will indicate extramarital affair where the spouse and the native both can be an extramarital affair with others. And also in the case of Venus Mars combination, generally the affairs from before marriage comes to disturb in marital life very often, right? Physical, mental, emotional, social torture is a common trait in Venus Mars combination. And generally in Venus Mars combination, friends, family members, and others can be jealous of you, your spouse or your marital life. And they can by their words and by their actions, try to create difficulties in your personal life, in your marital life regarding which you have to be careful. Most importantly, in a negative Venus-Mars combination, I have seen that generally the physical, mental and availability of time does not match with each other, right? So mentally and physically in a negative combination of Venus-Mars, the spouse is not at each other's level. So you say one spouse is very active, another one is very lazy. These kind of things are there or the time is not matching by the time one person gets some free time, time to rest, time to relax. The other person becomes tired or they have some other commitments. And because of this lack of time, the relationship suffers a lot, right? These are the negative combinations. Now you say, if this Mars is good, if this Mars is powerful, then in that particular scenario, the couple will spend a lot of time with each other, right? So and this negative signification should be made positive if Mars is positively influencing Venus. Venus sun combination is one of the worst combinations. See, one thing is there that Venus generally remains with sun. Right. But Venus sun combination is a very bad combination, very problematic combination. Now Venus, because it generally remains with sun, this is the particular reason that 80% of the people in the world have bad marital life. And this you have to understand. Venus with sun will generally indicate humiliation in marriage. Life partner generally comes from higher start of society and you feel humiliated you feel lower in front of the life partner. Life partner also leaves no stone unturned to bully you, disobey you and make you feel inferior. Generally, the mental, emotional, social conditions of the couple differs. And because of these difference, they don't go well with each other. What is a matter of concern for one person is not a matter of concern for other person, which is problematic in this setup. Ego related issues, fights, are generally they are in Venus Sun combination and generally a very close Venus Sun combination where Sun is very negative does indicate that marital life does not marital life destroys or separation happens even before completion of five years of marriage right Venus Sun combination is one of the worst combination to have right from disrespect to conflict to the person feeling shy taking their life partner with them spending time with life partner is common in Venus Sun combination so Venus and combination person do not want to spend their time with life partner, at least do not want to say that this is my life partner publicly. This one thing is there. And another thing is that because at mental and emotional level, they are not at the same level of understanding. They don't come from same background. What the native says, the spouse does not understand what the spouse matters values, whatever, whatever is the value of the spouse that the native does not understand. And because of this, a lot of conflict and strife is there in marriage. Most importantly, in Venus sun combination, there can be long times when the native will be forced to live away from a spouse, which will force them, lead them to have a concubine outside marriage as well. Of course, all the results I'm only telling for negative sun. If the sun is positive, you will convert the same result in good result as told earlier. This you will keep in mind, right? So. This case can also be there where the native will be forced to live away from life partner, you say, because of profession or something, which will cause the native to have concubines as well. This is one thing. See, in whoever person's horoscope, the combination is happening. Maximum impact is coming to that person only. Right. This is something that we have to understand. Only in those horoscopes where ascendant and ascendant lord is weak, the combinations of the horoscope impacts the spouse. In those cases where the ascendant and ascendant lord is powerful, if you have the combination, you get the impact. 
this is the basic differentiating factor that you should note down and highlight with a marker and keep in mind always, right? Most importantly, in Venus Sun combination after childbirth, the problems in problems in marital life seems to increase, and everything you say. The friends of the native, the professional commitments of the native, somehow forces them to, you know, be unavailable for their spouse. And this is also a bad combination for Venus Sun combination and. In Venus and combination, one more thing I have seen that generally person have a very bad experience related to relationship or a very bad experience related to first marriage, which, you know, destroys the, destroys all the hopes and wishes of the native and because of which the native suffers in subsequent relationships in Venus and combination, right? These are all the results in a nutshell. Other results will also be there, but that will be dependent on the house and the Rashi where the combination is being made. This particular thing that I have told in the starting that if the combination is positive, the result turns to be in turns to go in a positive way in, 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 a, in a positive light, the results go. This positivity will also come through Rashi's, right? So that you will keep in mind and you will interpret the result accordingly, right? I told you remedy for Venus Rahu. For Venus Saturn, the best remedy is to, in Pushkar Lake, you should take a bath. That is one thing. Thiru, going to Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanam is another good remedy for Venus Saturn combination. And there is a Trijugi Narayan temple in Uttarakhand. There you should visit for Venus Saturn combination. Right? Any temple which is associated any temple of Lord Vishnu, which is associated with any type of marriage, Dwarka Dish in Dwarka Gujarat should also be visited for Venus Saturn combination. Any temple of Lord Vishnu or incarnations of Lord Vishnu where Lord Vishnu is alone. But the story is associated with Goddess Lakshmi as well can be visited for Venus Saturn combination. The only exception being Trichuki Narayan, which is the holy place where Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati got married. That's one thing. For Venus Mars combination, Salasar Balaji in Rajasthan, both the Balajis in Rajasthan can be visited. That is a very good remedy. Narasimha temple can also be visited for Venus Mars combination. Lakshmi Nirsinga Karavalamman Stotram is a very good remedy for Venus Mars combination. Right? That's one thing. For Venus Sun combination, one should, to remedy Venus Sun combination, one should visit. A Jyotirling and a Sakti Peet back to back. So one should first go to a Jyotirling, then go to a Sakti Peet, or first go to a Sakti Peet and then go to a Jyotirling. And in any case, between first visiting the Jyotirling or first visiting the uh, Shakti Peet and the second visiting to the Shakti Peet or Jyotirling, there should not be delay of more than three days. At least the person should go on a trip where he should cover at least three Jyotirling and three Sakti Peet in one go. And in any case, the difference between visiting the Jyotir uh, Jyotirling and Shakti Peet not extending than three days, though the distance, uh, the time between visiting one Jyotirling to another Jyotirling can extend. This is a very good remedy for Venus Sun combination and to reduce the malefic effect of Venus Sun combination. Right. So these are the remedies that you will do, and if you do these remedies with utmost faith, only then the remedy will work because in the performance of remedy faith to the deity faith to the person who gave the remedy and repeated repeated do, repeatedly doing the remedy is of utmost importance right so basic underlining point of the video is that the significator works on the mental emotional social level for example if you say children Fifth house talks about how many children are there, what will be the gender of the children, what will be the ascendant of the children, longevity of the children, body of the children, etc. etc. But what will be the connecting link between the father and the child, the native and the child? What are the experiences that the child will get from the native and native will get from the child that should be analyzed from the significator of the fifth house, Jupiter? That is the basic underlining point of the video. Apart from that, I am also saying that if a planet is a malefic planet, but that planet is in good condition, exalted, multirikon, surashi, vargottam, etc., then the negative result of the planet, the natural negative result of the planet does not impact as much as it will do in a, as it will do in another cases. 
with the exception being of affliction that even if the malefic planet with significator if malefic planet with significator is in a good condition he will not produce malefic results but if he is afflicted he will produce malefic results that to in a get greater quantity in an uglier manner right this you should note down and apply it in your predictions from next time onwards this will give you better and good predictions is what i believe thank you